is happening guys welcome to the video another update video for you guys I'm doing my best to commit to these videos at least once a week while I'm in the off season because as I mentioned in the previous video that I did like this vlogging my day-to-day -day activities is just it's not in the cards uh, currently because of my job working construction now obviously while I'm vlogging and you know building a deck it's just not gonna work and then you know the days are just busy I'm training some clients now so just hours in the day to vlog is just not it's not gonna be exciting to watch and it's just not doable on my end I'm still gonna do like weekend vlogs you know when we go to shows if I have clients competing or if we're going on adventures and stuff like that so they will still come but they will be much more sporadic than than usual and then when I get starting prep again, I will I will try to prioritize my time a little bit and at least document a little bit more how prep is going just because that's probably a little bit more exciting to watch than the off season. But uh, anyway, so let's just let's just get into the week. So all in all, things were very, very good this week, very productive in the gym. Uh, I'm going to have some footage overlaying now from this week's push workout, which would have been yesterday, I guess today is Saturday, filming this video. This would have been last yesterday afternoon, Friday afternoon. And I I definitely notice when, when I train, as far as the time of day I go to the gym, it does kind of affect how good my workout is. And this workout on Friday, I'm done work early on Fridays um, at two. So I'm usually at the gym depending on where I'm working. I would say the latest I'm at the gym is like 2.30, right? So from 2.30 till probably like four, I'm training. And honestly, that's like prime time for me. Like very, very rarely do I go to the gym at that time of the day and have a poor workout. And I think there's a, a few factors behind it. Uh, number one is obviously uh, I'm well fed by that time. By two o'clock I've had at least three solid meals in me right so you know looking at yesterday when i trained in the morning i would have had um a bagel with some eggs and then kind of mid-morning i had a protein bar with uh some fruit and then around 12 31 o'clock when we stopped for lunch at work i would have had chicken and rice which I've spoken about before how rice seems to really fuel me up pretty good for a workout and then you know after that about an hour hour and a half later I was getting into the gym had my pre-workout in me I, I was caffeinated up ready to go and I just had a really really good workout so uh, some notable numbers I hit which was super super exciting like I think I think we're like all-time PRs when it comes to bench press right now guys which is super cool um, so I did on, on the plan, the goals were to hit 270 um, for at least one set of five uh, on flat bench with a pause. I have been pausing on my bench just because, I don't know, it's harder and uh, I really want to keep those pauses up because eventually if I do decide to get into powerlifting again, you obviously have to pause. So if I'm going to hit a bench uh, PR, I want it to be paused just because I know I could, I would in theory be able to do that in competition. Whereas if I just go touch and go uh, in competition, that's not that's not a, a competition bench. So if I don't pause, then that's not a, a direct reflection of what I could do in a meet. So uh, I wanted 270 for at least one set of five with a pause. The week prior to this, we did 265 for five. So I was hoping for 270 for five. Five pound jump, uh, match the reps, that would be good. And then 245 for somewhere around eight to 10 on a back off set. So after I did my 270, I was gonna do two sets at 270, at least one for five was the goal. And then if I got, you know, a three to five on the second set, I'd be happy. And then 240 for that back off set, shooting for, again, somewhere around eight to 10 reps. The week prior I did, or no, I don't know what I just said. Did I say 240 or 245? Uh, the week prior I did 240, this week we were shooting for 245. So you've probably seen the footage by now, me rambling, but, uh, 270, two sets of five with a pause, and 245, a set of 10, all paused reps. The last one was was a bit of a fight. I would say uh, on a scale of one to 10, RPE was around nine, nine and a half. I, I might, I don't know. I don't know if I would have got that 11th rep. I, I, if I did, it would have been 
it would have been ugly. <laughs> I can pretty much guarantee that. So really happy with those numbers. Again, I think those are all time PRs. I've hit those numbers before, but I really don't think I've hit those reps with those numbers before. And if I have, I'm pretty sure they weren't paused. I know for a fact, uh, 240 for 10 reps paused has never happened, right? Um, maybe 270 when I was getting ready for my powerlifting meet before, but I don't know, I'd have to really look back at the numbers, but I really don't think they're uh, crazy, like I don't think that the, those aren't PRs, like I really think they, they are, which is super cool because that means we're progressing, which is always what we want. Um, so after that, went to incline dumbbell press. Last week I did 90s for 10, 90s for 10, and then the last set I was like, you know what, I'm gonna grab these hundreds and see if I can get it. Got 10, so this week I was like, screw it. We're skipping 95s, we're leaving them in the dust, and we're gonna grab those hundreds for three sets, shooting for eight to 10 reps. First set, 10 reps was was pretty easy. I probably could have got 15, but um, I, I'm a I'm a believer in uh, like time and place to go to failure. And on because what I was going for was three sets, eight to 10. I knew that if I just capped it at 10 on that first set, then I'd be able to probably hold that eight to 10 reps for the next two sets. Had I have gone up to that 15, I might have over fatigued myself and, and that would have kind of kiboshed the next two sets. So thankfully I made the right decision and we got 10 on the first set. Again, very easy. Second set, another 10. Uh, and again, that set was pretty, pretty easy. I probably could have went like 12 if I wanted to. And then the last set, which I think uh, is probably played by now, uh, last rep was a fight. I really fought for that. It was a probably solid five or six seconds where I was just like pushing those freaking dumbbells up, but we got it, we got it. So three sets of 10 on that. And then the rest of the workout was uh, uh, a fly movement, then went into shoulders, did a seated overhead press, uh, did some laterals. I think I superset upright row. Yeah, laterals with upright row, superset there um, for the side of the shoulder, and then some tricep work to finish. So that workout was good this morning uh, because of the way the day was structured, had to go early and uh, hit back and buys. So I think I rolled up to the gym around 7.30, which uh, surprisingly w was a pretty good workout. I did notice energy start to fade near the end because all I had this morning was, was a bagel with jam. I didn't want something too, too heavy in my system, but I wanted some carbs to fuel the workout. So I did notice by about the hour mark, uh, energy was starting to dip. So. The workout total was I think hour 15 or hour 20 and and those last like 15 minutes was really just biceps and a little bit of abs so I got the big stuff done the big back exercises done when I had energy I'm really happy with how my back has been feeling when it comes to training my back's an area that uh, not a weak point but an area I want to bring up so really focusing on you know getting those good contractions whether it be a pull down whether it be a row and just really really trying to hammer my back and, and give it that stimulus to grow so today we did warmed up with uh, some pullovers with face pulls just to get the the blood flowing get the upper back warmed up and especially being that early in the morning I wanted to make sure everything was moving and grooving properly and then we went into Pull-ups, always, always, always some kind of pull-up in my workout, whether it's weighted or wide grip, close grip, neutral grip, whatever it is, I, I'm a big fan of pull-ups just to, you know, be able to handle your own body. Oh, you stupid phone. <laughs> Sorry, wind blew my the camera over. So anyways, uh, where was I? Pull-ups, always those three sets uh, during today's workout. And then uh, after that, I was supposed to go to pull downs, but the machine was taken, so I had to kind of switch up the order. And that's one thing, guys, that if you're tracking your workouts, if you're log booking your sessions, which I encourage you to do, um, if you switch up the order, obviously you might be more fatigued. Whereas, it, so for example, if I was to do pull downs third in my workout, but because of the machine being taken, I had to move it to like fifth or sixth, so I had to do some rows and stuff before that. So. The numbers that I had planned to hit this workout would have been affected because I was already, I would have been more fatigued, right? So just a, a quick little side note there. If you're tracking your stuff, kind of note when in the session you're doing your workouts or your exercises, right? So when I have to switch the order up, I'll just draw an arrow just for my own little knowledge. So I know, okay, even though I was supposed to do, you know, 160 pounds on the pull down today, I only did 150, but that's because instead of it being third of my workout it was fifth right so 
uh, just something to something to think about for you. Um, anyways, rest of the workout today was uh, some cable rows, some dumbbell rows, pull downs wide, pull downs neutral, uh, and then just some bicep work, dumbbell curls, cable curls, and just some abs to finish. So, all in all, this week's workouts have been good. Normally today I would do legs, but I knew this morning I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have a the fuel to do it, which is not good. I, I like to be well fueled up for legs, and then uh, time wise, I was just wasn't gonna have enough time for for how the day was gonna be. So, uh, back workout was like an hour, fifteen hour, twenty minutes. Legs is usually hovering around two hours. So, I just I'll move it to tomorrow. And hamstrings are still a little bit fatigued. I would say they're like ninety percent recovered by tomorrow. I'll be fine. Um, but a little bit fatigued from the workout this week, just because I really did hammer them pretty good so I wanted them to be recovered for tomorrow so this kind of actually worked out pretty good uh, nutrition wise uh, trying to eat lots trying to really push the weight up a little bit I meant to check my weight this morning but I was kind of rushed so I didn't uh, I'll check it tomorrow morning just for the curiosity sake but I'm probably still 185 186 somewhere around there uh, just trying to consciously eat more trying to really keep the calories up um, trying to squeeze in another small feeding at some point during the day. Usually, I'll, if I'm training in the morning, then that's like three or four meals throughout the day, and then uh, another meal right after work, uh, which is around like four-ish, and then we'll have like dinner around maybe six or seven, and then I'm trying, usually I'm, I'm quite full, uh, I'm trying to eat again before bed at like 8.30, 9 o'clock, but it's... I don't know, it's a chore. Like I'm at that stage now in the off season, which for me, I, ha I have a big appetite when I'm on prep and right after the show, but as soon as it gets into the off season, this is when my appetite starts to kind of dip. Like I'm not, I'm not a big guy. Like I'm, I'm 186 right now at five foot seven, which for me right now is pretty, pretty solid. But like comparatively speaking to, to a lot of competitors, I'm not, I'm not a big dude, right? Especially being 150 on stage like I'm a lightweight and I'm probably gonna always be a lightweight but when it comes to like getting at this point in the off season you know which really isn't that far out from show April was when I competed May June July like we're like three months post show and my appetite is, is starting to kind of get like suppressed a little bit because I'm, I'm well fed and it's just now it's to the point where it's like you got to force feed a little bit which is not the most comfortable thing and it's ironic because you're in prep you're you're starving and you're uncomfortable and then post show you're hungry and and then you're fed and now it's to the point where you're well fed and you're uncomfortable and you're trying to force feed a little bit and it's the name of the game this bodybuilding thing it's it's up and down it's extreme on both ends but anyways we're gonna try to keep punting for that 190 pounds before the end of the year um but a, like a trying to trying to get the food in hard and, and i'm trying to do it like as clean as I can right like I don't want to just come home and eat like six pop tarts and be like oh there's an extra 1500 calories like I don't want all that sugar and crap in my system as much as as it tastes good I don't want all of that so trying to fit in higher carbs in the form of like potato or rice or even like a bagel or like having cereal post-workout and then maybe cereal again later in the day like just trying to get the food in is is kind of a struggle right now but and especially right now it's really hot where i live so it's you know the last thing you want to do when you're hot and sweaty is like stuff your face full of food um so the struggle ah, this is this is not fun uh the problem right now is my, i got the window open the lighting is great but there's a breeze coming in that keeps knocking you guys over i apologize for that um but anyways that's uh that'll be the update video for the week the training is going good feeling good feeling strong uh hit me up on instagram guys um that's where i'm posting obviously a little bit more regularly versus trying to make these videos so uh if you can stay up to date there with what i'm doing i did a post yesterday and it was kind of like a natural bodybuilding shout out and that went over really well so i think i'm gonna try to do that every friday just like you know tag some some guys that i follow and some guys that i look up to and and that share the love for this like I do and just you know spread the love and, and spread the good word about natural bodybuilding so uh, thank you for those guys that, that shared the post uh, I got a lot of good comments on it and just you know people saying like hey it's cool that you're you know you're passionate about this and you're sharing the sharing the love so I'll try to do that probably like every Friday like a natural natural bodybuilding Friday or something I don't know 
trying to think of something cool about it. So, anyways, guys, uh, speaking of food, I gotta go eat. Um, Cause it's time to eat. We gotta grow. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are enjoying these updates. If there's something you want to see uh, or hear me talk about in the updates, let me know. Send me a message or, or comment on these videos below, and uh, I'll be sure to touch on them next time. So, thanks again, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.